hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to do a deep dive into the forms in livewire i'll create a customer creation form using livewire the first thing we will do is see how the form works how the submit works basic validations and then we will also look at how we can move all our form properties into a form object and you know, get all the business logic inside that separate class and keep our component class quite slim so that you know the business logic is managed in its own responsible classes so without wasting much time let's get started the first thing that i will do is open up terminal and create a new entity called customer i'll also need the migration so i'll add the m flag so i have my model and migration let's open up the migration file first and I'll keep the model open as well. And let me add all the properties that I am planning to add to my customer entity. So I have these few fields, um, six to be exact. I have a name, email, email is unique. Then I have a phone number field, age, which is unsigned integer because I know it won't go below zero. Then I have string, country, text field for notes, and that's about it. Now to keep the things going i will have a shortcut i will add a property called guarded which is an empty array typically on any application which i know is not a tutorial but rather a production type application i would always use the fillable properties so that i have some control over which properties should be can be added during the creation method or you know during the mass assignment whereas you know there should if there are certain properties which i don't want to be created during the create or the mass assignment i can have that control again this this is an individual decision but i prefer to do it on production applications like that you now we have a fillable property but right now i'm taking a shortcut so now that we have our entity in place let's create a route as well before we create a route we will need a live wire component which will be rendered on that particular route so let me again open up my terminal and i will have a live wire component called customer add let me open up those two files and now i will add some markup so that the form is able to render itself so i had already written the markup in a test application so i have copy pasted that i'll walk you through the entire flow um i have a small patchwork where i have defined a style um you may choose to add it in the actual app css file but right now because i'm not building the css file right i have taken this shortcut we have an h1 tag where you know the we are saying that customer create thing then the form starts here wire submit is almost like you know we are capturing the submission of that particular form and we are going to call a save function so i will just add that function over here as well inside my component class okay this is done let's move ahead this is typical bootstrap markup where we have the label name input field with form control class which basically ensures that the field is going to be rendering properly and i have wire model wire model is the way for us to bind the variables which are going to be there inside our component with the view which basically means i need a property called name in my component so let's add that as well this is done name and i have a few more which i will add one after the other i have name by the way um just to close the loop on that so i have this input field and then i am printing an error blade directive basically this means that if there is some validation error and there's a key called name then this span will come in and i am printing out the message which is there in the error so let me add all the other properties 
Okay, so I have these six properties over here. And now for Livewire to run some validations, what we can do is add some rules in this particular format. Required, and let's just say the name should be minimum three characters. Okay, just to check. So we can use the rules attribute to define the validations that we want on this particular attribute. For example, I'm saying that the name is required and it should be minimum three characters. Okay, with this done, let's first try and see how the working is because we have written a lot of code, but we still don't see any visual. So I'll first create the route, customer create. Okay, and then we can call the customer add live component like so. Okay, we have the form in place as well. I can see that. And now if I hit submit, okay, right now nothing will happen. Let me look at the database as well. I need to migrate that. So maybe I'll do PHP artisan migrate. Okay, let me see if I can see the customers table. I do. And if I hit submit, nothing happens. Obviously nothing will happen because we haven't written any code for that. But in this save function, first we will run a validate. With this done, hit refresh, hit submit. Can you see? It does say that the name field is required. So our validations are working. What I would like to do is add the validation rules for rest of our properties inside our component. So let me quickly add that. All right, so I have added all the attributes for the validation rules. For example, email is also required and it should be of type email, phone number, age, country is required, notes is not a mandatory field. Now, with this in place, how do we save once, a, once the validation has happened? We have seen previously, we can do something like this line of code where we are doing this only. And if I now do a DD, I will see all the values of these fields. Let's try and do that. So I have filled the form. Now, if I hit submit, it says unknown validation rule. Okay, let me understand what is wrong. Sorry, it's a spelling mistake. If I hit submit again, nothing happened again, which is a bit weird. Now I was expecting this to work. Okay, so it seems that it is failing on the validation for some reason. Let's understand what could be the reason. So it looks like I'm making a lot of typos and that's the reason I'm facing this problem. The spelling was wrong and hence it was failing. Let me fill up the form again. So now if I hit submit, it says the country is still required. That's a bit weird. But now I can see I'm getting all the values, which basically means if I come down over here, if I take this piece of code and do customer create like this, ideally, I should have created a customer. Let's see. Hit submit. Go to the database. I see one entry. Let me change it to plus one. New note. Maybe select India, do 33, hit submit, and I'm able to submit the form. Now, there are multiple things that can be done. For example, I can, once the saving of the entry is done, I can redirect the user to a particular page where the listing is done, stuff like that. But that is not the point in this video. What I wanted to make you understand is how we can work with form. So we have these attributes this public attributes, which are basically wired to individual fields in our form. We have our validation errors being shown wherever 
you know it doesn't match the criteria and when the validation happens we first run the validate method and then we can create the customer entity and that's the reason we can see those entries in the database as well but now can you see in this entire thing there are a lot of attributes in my main component which is taking up a lot of real estate it is bloating up the component and really this is something which we can avoid in a very nice way and that's what we are going to explore in our next step to move our form attributes and the validation rules into a form class what we need to do is first create a live wire form class so what i will do is do live wire form maybe customer add form i'll open up that file and then basically we just need to cut everything over here okay paste it over here we already have the rules in place so this should be fine i'll hit save and this is not required anymore right basically with this we sh should be able to run the validations and stuff but the only thing is first of all because the attributes are not defined anymore we need to say that we have a public property called form which is of type customer add form and once that is done we just need to update our blade file because now all the properties are not directly part of the component but it's a property inside the form object which basically means the name the model and the error changes to form dot and the property name so if i now refresh this page and hit the submit button you will see only the name field validation message is coming because rest of them are directly looking for an attribute which is no more in our component file so i'll just update every one of them so now all of them are under the form object and i just realized that because my notes doesn't have any validation i don't need the error thing so if i now refresh hit submit all of them are getting the validation message fair enough now how do we save well we have this form class i'll add a new method called save and we can cut this entire logic from here import customer and instead of this only i can do this all and with this in place we are pretty much done we just need to call this form save because that method is now inside the form class right which is an object uh, of you know, this public property all right so let's see we have two customers over here and let me fill up the form and now if i hit the submit button go to the database i can see that these fields are populating now the notes didn't came through let me see what happened i think i forgot to change this form dot notes and form dot notes right so it should work i need to refresh this obviously so let's hit the submit go to the database and this time my notes and all the other fields are populating so yeah that's about it guys that's what i wanted to cover in this video of working with forms inside livewire this is the basic of how we can deal with forms but there are other things which i am going to cover in the subsequent video so yeah thanks for watching if you like this video then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel